I think for me in this uh, production, it's the rabble-rousing, bombastic moments of the piece, which are the most exciting. I mean, the last couple of times I've been here, I've been with a Rossini opera and a Mozart opera. And so actually in Italy, I conduct mostly Verdi and Puccini and things like that. So for me to come here and have you know, a huge orchestra and rambunctious moments and dramatic, dramatic music and also a fantastic cast, I think is the greatest joy. <laughs> Basically, after the doubt experience, I got to thinking about what um, what, a, what a composer faces when they set a very well-known uh, play to uh, music. And in the case of doubt, obviously, we're talking about a, a piece that already existed as a Pulitzer Prize-winning play and also a movie. And so there, the, the, the challenges were a very light orchestration, but very complex rhythmic uh, structure for the orchestra and so just as soon as the last production performance of Doubt was over the very next day Hamlet rehearsal was basically started and so I was thinking about Thomas and uh, exactly how he took this of course world famous play kind of like a pillar of Western civilization which is the the play Hamlet by William Shakespeare and set it to music and so the thing that I've been finding in these rehearsals with orchestra which is such a joy is that the music is full of very descriptive music and in that sense it's almost Wagnerian you know it's got this um, series of light motifs which apply to the particular characters in the opera and so um, to be able to play with that with this orchestra and 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 be followed by them and, uh, and and have them really get engaged in the drama itself I think that's probably been the principal joy in uh, mounting this production here at Minnesota Opera, which is actually the first time that this company has ever performed the piece. So for many of you, that will probably be uh, an eye-opening experience as well.